Hi, I'm James and welcome back to the Siren YouTube channel and today I'm going to be discussing glue. Stay tuned. So in this week's video it's just going to be a short vlog post from me today. Um, I'm going to be discussing the differences between uh, Gorilla Wood Glue and Type Bond Wood Glue. Um, this video is purely going to be discussion. Uh, I've got no physical experiments to do to back up my findings. So if that's the video you're kind of looking for, um, this probably isn't one for you, but I'd love for you to tune in anyway and have a listen and see what you think. Join in on the discussions. So the uh, glue of choice in the UK for woodworkers seems to be the Gorilla Wood Glue. No, that's, that's probably for a couple of reasons. Um, one being that it's easily readily available on any shop sort of shelf, um, whereas the Type Bond isn't because it's more it's specialist US made, um, that kind of thing. So not only that, but anyone who's used the standard wood glue, uh, the stuff that sticks pretty much anything to anything will know um, how good that is and you kind of want to hope that the quality of that also is in this stuff so that's pretty much why I selected this stuff uh, in the hope that it would do the job however even before I came across Type Bond I've never really been convinced by this stuff um, I've always found the joints just don't feel as strong as they should do um, now whether that's because of conditions in my workshop, if you've seen my previous videos you'll see that it's not the most uh, dry or warm environment to do glue ups and things like that, so that, that, that is probably a factor. However, I recently came across uh, a woodworking equipment shop in Norwich in the UK, the Type Bond. Now any of you guys that follow all the major woodworkers on YouTube, uh, Steve Ramsey, Jay Bates, all those guys in the US, all of those predominantly use Type Bond in one form or another. And uh, now I can see why. Having used it, I can say that there's, it just feels so much better. There's an instant tack almost um, when you're gluing boards up. It just feels like it grabs and holds and the joints that it creates just feel that much more solid. Um, that is only my opinion based on what I can feel and what I can see. It's not a scientific um, opinion by any, by any stretch. However, if we look at just, uh, this is just a glue up, a panel glue up, just made from pallet wood slats, nothing special. So, but this is made with the Gorilla Glue. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to catch this on camera, but always I find with these glue ups, with the Gorilla Glue, there is just so much flex in those joints. And these are jointed edges. So this is not like I'm trying to glue up boards that won't mate. These are correctly jointed edges. So they meet perfectly but there is still just way too much flex in there for my liking. And in one of my tests, when I was concerned about this, I actually managed to just fully snap a panel by hand. Uh, that just shouldn't happen. Um, again, it might have been a bad joint, might have been bad conditions, but to me, by feel, that doesn't feel right to me. Now, when I do a glue up with the tight bond, I've done a few now, and instantly the, the improvement is massive. I can feel, it just feels solid on the panel. You can actually feel it almost grabbing the wood straight away. Uh, it just latches on and uh, just after unclamping these panels uh, with the type on, it just feels so much more solid. Um, and you can kind of, you know, you can really trust it then for a joint with no other reinforcement. Um, the guys using biscuits or dominoes or dowels or anything like that probably don't need to worry quite so much. But for wood glue joints alone, um, 
this is now going to be my go-to product. Uh, it's very expensive over here. I think you can buy it in bulk from Exminster, which are wholesalers in the UK. Um, so we'll look at that, buying a, a large tub. But yeah, so moving forward, definitely I find this much stronger. That's just my opinion. Um, obviously I haven't got an example piece to do any strength testing or anything like that. So this is just opinion based and just talking about it. So if you guys have got any views on that or you think I'm wrong or you think I'm an idiot, tell me in the comments. Um, but I'm sure probably a lot of people are thinking this that have tried both. Now, even also there's a, a quite a notable color difference. Now, obviously that's not very scientific, but the Gorilla Glue is a lot whiter and the Type Bond, you can even see it through the packaging, it's a, a yellow color. Now, instantly that suggests to me that perhaps this is more watered down. Again, that's not very scientific, but you know, you've got to look at some logic to that. So the color is, is definitely a, dis, um, a difference. Clamping time, everything is pretty much the same. They say, you know, well, Type 1 says half an hour. Yeah, both say half an hour, but you, nobody leaves it for only half an hour. You've got to leave it longer than that anyway. Um, and they both say not to stress the joint in 24 hours. So very, very similar. Same temperatures for applying. So no less than 13 degrees C or 55 for you guys in the US. Um, so yeah, nothing really different on the specs, but there's definitely something. So if you guys have got any thoughts on that or you've got an even better glue that you know of that you think um, would be of use, do let me know in the comments. Um, as I say, this video is only me talking rubbish. It's only my opinion. Um, I will get round to doing perhaps some experiments to see just how strong each glue is. Possibly in reality they hold up the same, I don't know, it just to me it just feels very different. Um, so you've got to go with your gut instinct sometimes and this just feels much more solid to me. I've got a tabletop to make in an upcoming video, a solid pine table, it's about 35mm thick. Um, I would not want to be relying on Gorilla Glue alone on that tabletop. I'd be using some other form of reinforcement as suggested before, biscuits or dominoes or anything like that. However, with this stuff, I think with a good gloop of this on every joint, that would be fine just to be glued wood to wood, which is how it technically should be. Um, you shouldn't really need any other joint there. They've, you know, there's been various controversy over whether biscuits increase the strength of a joint or not. They are handy for locating uh, boards together for a panel, but it's pretty much been proven that they offer nothing strength-wise. So going by glue alone, this will be my choice for the tabletop, definitely. I think I might use the Gorilla for general everyday gluing, something that isn't structurally important, and then use the expensive stuff for the real premium joints. So anyway, hope you found that uh, of some use, of some interest. Uh, I'm sorry it's just me talking this time, um, and it's very short because nobody wants to hear someone uh, talk for too long uh, without actually showing anything, so it's a nice short one. Um, so that's my opinion on the two glues. It is just my opinion based on what I've been doing and what I've been using it for. Please do like and subscribe and follow on with the channel. There's videos, uh, lots more videos to come. I'm still just about getting them out on a weekly basis. Um, lots more content. There's going to be a lot of changes coming in the next few weeks. Christmas is just around the corner here in the UK, so that will put a hold on things possibly. There'll probably be a couple of weeks break from the videos just for family time, of course. And uh, we'll be back with a vengeance in the new year.